this is Dr. Mark Hitchcock, and I'm here in my office at uh, Faith Bible Church in Edmond, Oklahoma. And I want to thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Marking the Times. Uh, there certainly are a lot of things happening in the world today that are capturing people's interest. I think probably people are more interested in prophecy maybe than they've been uh, at any time in recent memory. And so I hope maybe more people are, are tuning in and watching these Marking the Times videos. If you know somebody that's got questions about prophecy or what's going on in our world today, be sure and tell them about these videos if they're helpful to you. Um, with all the things happening with coronavirus, all that continues to kind of unfold in our culture. A lot of repercussions and ramifications from that that I think will really have long-term effects that are, that are prophetically significant. Now, what I want to do today, though, is answer a question. Again, I get questions sent in. You can send those in on our Facebook page, and we'll try to get to some of those along. This is a question I've been asked in person, actually, a couple times here recently, and it's been sent in as well. So anytime I get a question kind of that's repeated that many times, I think this is something that's on people's minds. Now, I've kind of got to explain the question and, and put it in its, its context, but let me just give it to you first. What people are basically asking is, What's going to happen to people who live through the millennial kingdom of Christ in their natural bodies and they get to the end of the millennium and they get to that period of time when there's going to be then the great white throne judgment of the lost and then we're going to go into the new heaven and the new earth. Um, how do they get a new body? Is, do they experience a rapture or when are they going to be judged? Um, we, we know that for people who are alive today, we kind of know about the, the, the rapture and the resurrection of the body of Old Testament saints and these different groups. But this group of millennial saints is kind of an interesting group to, to understand what's going to happen to them at the end of the millennium. Now, to set that up, in case you don't understand the, the kind of the background of this question, one of these days, I believe at any moment, uh, the rapture could take place. And those of us who are alive and are on the earth, who are believers, are going to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Then there's going to be a time of tribulation, the tribulation period that's going to unfold on the earth. The Antichrist will come on the scene, the mark of the beast. Uh, God will be judging the world. And at the end of that time, it's going to culminate with two great events, the campaign of Armageddon and then the second coming of Jesus. And when Jesus returns at his second coming, there are going to be people alive on the earth. And many of them will be unbelievers, and they're going to be cast into judgment, cast in, into uh, the lake of fire. And there's going to be uh, others uh, who are going to be uh, the righteous, who are believers, who are going to go into the millennial kingdom in their human bodies. Those of, us, those of us caught up earlier at the rapture, Old Testament saints are resurrected. We'll all have glorified bodies. But those who go into the millennium in their natural bodies will live throughout that time of the millennial reign of Christ on the earth and repopulate the earth. Now, my view is, and I can't substantiate this totally from the Bible, but I think if someone goes into the millennium in their natural body and they're a faithful person who believes in the Lord and trusts in Him, they'll live through that whole time period. They'll live the whole thousand years. It'll kind of go back to the time before the flood as people had these extended, um, extended lifespans. But if the, the people who do live through to the end of the millennium who are believers, what's going to happen to those people? Now, we know there's going to be some unbelievers who are going to revolt against Jesus at the end of the millennium. I mean, it's, a, it's a crazy scene in, in, in Revelation chapter 20, verses 7 through 10. As Satan is released from the, uh, the abyss where he's been bound for a thousand years, he's going to gather people from all over the earth to rebel against Jesus. And Jesus will put down that rebellion, and they're going to be judged. But for those who live through the millennium in, in their natural bodies, and they get to that period of time, what's going to happen? What I think is going to happen is there's going to be something like the rapture that's going to take place, and they're going to be judged. Because everybody ultimately is judged, not as unbelievers, but as believers. They're going to be judged by God, and they'll be given rewards, I believe, at that time. But they're going to have to get a new body because God is going to make a new heaven and a new earth. And the new Jerusalem is going to come down and rest on the new earth. And in 1 Corinthians 15, it says, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. In other words, you can't go to heaven, the heavenly kingdom, in these human bodies that we have. Now, obviously, people were caught up there sometimes and saw a vision of heaven, but you can't inhabit heaven in a natural body. So the best understanding, I think, would be is at the end of the millennium, there's going to be something like the rapture, where those who've lived through that period of time in these human bodies will experience an instantaneous glorification. They'll receive an imperishable, incorruptible, immortal body in a moment of time, a body then that will be fit for the new heaven and the new earth and the new Jerusalem. 
And there'll also be a judgment of them at that time where they'll be judged according to what they've done and how they've lived during the millennial kingdom. And just like the judgment we'll face at the judgment seat of Christ, they're going to get reward or lack of reward based on that. So I realize that's a bit of speculation because the Bible doesn't tell us, but we know somehow they've got to get a new body and that they won't have to die if they've lived through the millennium. So it makes sense there'll be some kind of a rapture-like uh, event that will take place for them. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, maybe that's a question you've never thought about. If, it, if it's something you've never thought about before, hopefully it'll pique your interest and, and uh, get you thinking about that. And hopefully that'll make sense and clarify that for us. Anyway, thank you again for joining us. I always appreciate the opportunity to be with you. Uh, God bless you. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.